This is a complicated proportions question because there's two lots of proportions going on. But if you know that H is inversely proportional to P, you need to just get this in your bones. You just write H equals K over P. Okay, inversely proportional means there's a fraction there with Ks on the top, which is a number that we're going to go and find. And if P is directly proportional to something, you would say P equals, normally you would just write K times, times whatever that is, okay? But the only problem in this question is that you can't use the same letter K twice because this number is going to be different, okay? So you can call it capital K if you want, or you could do K1 and K2. You could call it anything you like. Now that you've got these two equations, the only thing you can do is to combine them, okay? So what you're looking for, I haven't even read the question yet, but you're going to combine them in some way. Basically, if you have one letter equals something, like this P equals this, then you can just replace it in the other equation. So instead of writing P down here, I'm just going to write that thing. I'm just copying this out, but I'm just writing, swapping my P out for what I know P to actually be equal to is this nasty letter times the square root of T. Then they're going to give you a bunch of these numbers, okay? And you can just start plugging those in. So basically, we've got three equations and just go and plug stuff into as many of them as you can. So let me just quickly do this in another color. H is 10 and T is 144 when P is 6. So I could go up here, okay? I could go H is 10 when P is 6. Down here, I could go P is 6 when t is 144. And actually, you could even plug it into here as well. Although in this particular question, because I've got so much information up here already, I can actually go and find the value of k. Here k is going to equal 60 by timesing both things by 6. And here I can actually go and find what capital K is equal to, okay, because this is going to be 12. And then I divide by 12. So 6 over 12 is a half. And now I'm doing that quickly, but I'm just trying to be quick. So k is equal to a half. So this k is actually a half. That's actually 60 up there. Okay, so now I can rewrite this whole thing as h equals 60 over a half square root of t. And whenever you have a fraction inside a fraction, you want to times everything by the bottom of that fraction. So I actually want to double the top and double the bottom here. So h is 120 over the square root of t because those two little twos cancel. Is that the question? Yeah, formula for h in terms of t. Oh, so that's actually the end. So you see, I actually wasn't trying to answer the question. All I was doing was just doing anything I can. Okay, I just went through. So you're just writing equations out and, and sticking stuff in.